Harold, good morning. How are you doing? Good, Greg. All right, outstanding. Harold Ridgeway is under doctor's orders to exercise. He has COPD and is part of a UAB study to see if monitored exercise will reduce his risk of hospitalization. Greg Sanders, his UAB exercise physiologist, or cheerleader, as Ridgeway calls him, is following along via Skype. Did really good. We worked you pretty hard there on the treadmill. Patients with COPD have frequent exacerbations, which often require hospitalization. One in five end up readmitted to a hospital within 30 days, all of which leads to a steady decline. Their quality of life goes down, their lung function declines, and many a time does not return to what they started off with and they're left with considerable uh, limitations in their walking ability and ability to do things around the house. Surya Bhatt says there is strong evidence that exercise can reduce readmission rates, but access to the limited number of pulmonary rehab facilities is an issue. Since we know that rehab yeah. and exercise improves um, functional ability of the patients and reduces readmission rates, let's take the uh, exercise program to the patient's houses and try and make a difference there. Using smartphone technology, Ridgeway was one of 14 patients who worked out under Sanders' watchful eye. Besides providing encouragement, Sanders monitors the patient's health, heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation. We have to remember that many of these patients are very debilitated. Some of them can, can, some of them can barely get from bed to bathroom. We can watch them walk around in the kitchen uh, with safety monitors on and gradually increase their exercise abilities. You don't necessarily have to have advanced equipment to do this. None of the patients in the original study required readmission to the hospital in the critical 30-day window. I feel good. Ridgeway worked out with Sanders on the line three times a week for 90 days. I can go longer, I can walk longer, I can exercise longer. I just feel better. You know, I, I, I probably feel a whole lot le younger than my 76 years old. Following a first heart attack at age 50, multiple bypass surgeries, and then COPD, Ridgeway's future wasn't bright. Exercise has given him a new goal. I don't know, maybe 90.